celebrating a literary giant. That is what Nigerian Society of Authors convened to do here in Nigeria's capital Abuja after the death of renowned author Alechi Amadi. They say they continue to stand as gatekeepers in protecting the basic rights of freedom of expression and professional interests of writers. Alechi Amadi's voice is strong, especially with his prose. His language is very fluid. You want to follow him from the beginning to the end. This community of writers are taking part in a short essay writing competition in honor of Alechi Amadi's work. Alechi Amadi shaped so many young adult perspectives on African literary arts when his novel The Concubine was embedded into the national secondary school curriculum. Many of those writers are now part of a literary society meeting here in Abuja. We asked some members of this writers forum how Amadi's work influenced them. It was one of these icons literary icons who made a very impressive impact, positive impact, you know, in the lives of school children. You know, even when I was much younger, I, I read The Concubine. You know, that is a story that, you know, depicts um, uh, the, the local way of, you know, of uh, living, the, the lifestyle of people living in rural areas. Even as young as I was, when I read the story, you know, I could you know, picture out, you know, the way people live. I read this book, I remember, when I was in my primary school, The Concubine, and it had a great impression on me. He's a great writer in the sense of having a more holistic vision about uh, what he, he wanted his art to do, reflect the human condition mm -hmm. using the characters in some of these uh, plays, in some of these uh, um, great works of, of fiction. I mean, really, con The Concubine is perhaps his uh, very best. Amadi is part of a first generation of Nigerian authors. Passing on the baton to these budding writers in a fast-changing modern world is the hope of his legacy. Sophia Dango for CCTV, Abuja, Nigeria.